Om Shanti, welcome back. Today we are doing a recording of 21st of August, Godly Blessing. So in this blessing, God wants us to not be any more an ordinary human being, to be super ordinary. And that can only happen when we have those qualities, those powers, and when we have that knowledge within us. And then we are then using that knowledge to reframe change from within. And that change is something which doesn't let us become an ordinary human being. So let's see what exactly does he have to say in this beautiful God blessing. Father says, may you die alive. Now how can you die and still be alive? So here the death is the death of body consciousness. Death of physical limitations. Death of comparing yourself and attaching yourself to any kind of physical nature around us. We are not this physical body, we are not the face which we see, we are not the eyes which we are seeing, we are not the ears, we are not the mouth, we are not the company, we are not the money, we are not that place, we are not attached to any kind of physical element. We are not that religion, we are not that caste, we are not that system, we are not that position, we are not the certifications, we are nothing. When we are ready to become zero, then we can become a hero. Now that is dying alive. So you die in body consciousness, you die with the thoughts of the physicality, attachments to the physical world, and then you become unlimited because you are alive unlimited, because you are not connected to just this small box. I am this, or I am qualified with this. God says you are supernatural just like me. You are infinite just like me. So he says, may you die alive and finish Ordinariness. Ordinariness can only be finished with this kind of thought which we just discussed. By making the sanskars of being special, your nature. So do you consider yourself to be a special being? That is question number one which you need to ask yourself. Now speciality doesn't mean that you are considering yourself special because of certain skill. Because of the way you look, because of the amount of money which you have, because of the qualification that you have. Now the speciality is the nature which you are. What you are without any of these physical definitions around you. What you really are. Now this is a paradigm shift because we are moving from the limited to the unlimited area of a life. So God then says, whatever is your nature, it works automatically. So if somebody has a nature of getting irritated, somebody has a nature of correcting everybody sometimes, somebody has a nature of uh, finding a place or hating a place or not liking certain characters in a person, certain traits in a person, then that becomes a nature. You don't need to think or do anything, right? That person has to just come in front of you, that situation has to come in front of you and you are like, oh, I don't like this at all. In the same way, let the sanskar of being special become your nature and let it emerge from each one's lips and mind. This soul's nature is being special. Finish performing ordinary actions. What are these ordinary actions? Everybody is sleeping, thinking about earning, eating. These are the basic things for survival. What about something which we need to do to go beyond all this? So when we are not just thinking about our limited situations, our limited desires and wants, and when we think beyond ourselves, that is where we become special. Now, thinking beyond ourselves means what are we adding in somebody's life? I'm not talking about giving money. I'm not talking about giving shelter. I'm not talking about giving clothes to somebody. God is not talking about these limited things again. Again, we are not talking about the limited things around over here. We are talking about unlimitedness. How can you... Promote a human being without promoting them on a physical, financial basis. How can you help somebody in an infinite way without having to change anything in the surrounding? This is what we are talking about. This is a spiritual growth. So then God says, finish performing ordinary actions and you will then be said to have died alive. That means the old you, the old you who was performing very normal, simple actions, day-to-day -day living, eating, working, earning money, getting married, reproducing, and doing everything which everybody else is doing. 
how can you live beyond all those things okay if you are in that kind of situation already how can you add value to somebody's life even if you're a mother even if you're a father even if you are a family man how can you add value to somebody's life again not physically spiritually god then says you are dead to being ordinary and are living as a special soul let there not be anything ordinary even in your thoughts now this is a very different way of thinking it's a very different paradigm it's a very different kind of a level of frequency or vibration which we are talking about now to reach that level one has to start with the basics and the basics are when you starting to do the seven day course in brahma kumaris you will not talk ordinary after that i guarantee you you will not think ordinary you will not get into arguments for the sake of getting into arguments you will not like to be in those arguments you will be beyond them you will be beyond anger you will be beyond greed you will be beyond jealousy or comparison competition which are eating and sapping away your energy the ordinary you you will be a changed personality if you want to become that the method is there in brahma kumaris do attend it with this om shanti